Okay. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. <sighs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? <laughs> What's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> Your boldness surprises me at times. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe.
want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. <laughs> I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? <laughs> Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! No! worked hard. How are you feeling? 
Taba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Summer beaches are filled with all sorts of idiots letting loose. I need you to stay by her side. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. So hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch too? I'll go get some stuff for us then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality, 
strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? No, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? You moron, that's a crime! What we're gonna steal in reality are... girls' hearts! I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right. Let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! Come on, man. Hmm. 
wait. Yes. Thank you very much. should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Ah. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, 
and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. 
In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face! Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? That's you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. forward to it. Yes. 
Well then. Thank you very much. to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure... I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? Oh, um... My sunburns were hurting, and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Oh, um, I'm not sure what to do when you give me an honestly concerned response like that. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? That's... well... If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right?
quite hot today. Just add this. 